What's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to hard reset, also known as a factory reset, your Apple MacBook Air M3. Let's go. So welcome back to the video. My name is Sergio and in this channel I make life saving tech videos. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. All right, with that being said, let's jump right in. So I'm going to show you how to do a hard reset, also known as a factory reset. It's where you erase everything on your computer back to its factory condition. This is something that you want. You may want to do if you're selling your computer and you want to erase all of your information from it. Also, if your storage is pretty backed up and you don't have too much space left, you may want to just erase everything from your computer so that you can start fresh again with more memory so that your computer can work normally again. Or another reason you may want to do this is maybe you forgot your password and you can't get into it here. Okay, um, so by doing a hard reset, it will completely erase everything on the computer back to its factory condition. All right, one thing I do want to mention before we get started, if you do have your password, you don't want all your information deleted, back up whatever you can save because uh, this will erase everything on the computer. All right, so there's a couple ways to do a factory reset. All right, so first I'm going to show you how to do it here through the settings. Okay, so we're gonna go to system settings over here. Here in system settings, we're gonna go to general and then we're gonna select transfer or reset right here. We're gonna get these options right here and we're gonna select erase all content and settings. Okay, here it is gonna ask you for your password here for the computer. So once you're ready, type it in and hit unlock. Here it's just letting you know that touch ID and everything will be erased. Once you're ready, hit continue. And then here it's gonna just ask you to confirm one more time. Once you're ready, hit erase all content and settings. Once you select this, the hard reset process will begin. All right, so that's method number one of doing it. Now let's say that your computer is locked right here and it has a password and you can't get into it. There's also another way to do it and I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to power off the MacBook. So let's press and hold the button here to power it off. Once the screen blacks out completely, we're gonna release the power button and press it again like this and continue holding it. It's gonna say continue holding for startup options. Okay, once you see this, you can let go. Now it says loading startup options. So you can release the power lock button. Okay, you're gonna get these two options right here. This is your hard drive, Macintosh HD, and options. So we're gonna go ahead and select options. Select continue. And then here we have the recovery menu options here. So the first one is restore from time machine, reinstall Mac OS, Safari, and disk utility. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we're gonna go to disk utility because we want to erase everything on the hard drive. So we're gonna select our hard drive here, which is Macintosh HD. Here we're gonna select erase up here. Okay, and then once you're ready, hit erase. Now remember, this is gonna erase everything on your computer. So, okay, so once you're ready, hit erase. Okay, uh, it's here's just letting you know one more time to confirm. Once you're ready, hit erase Mac. And then here, select erase Mac and restart. Okay, now the only thing you are gonna need for this process, you are gonna have to be connected to Wi-Fi because it's gonna need to reinstall the OS afterwards. All right, so here we're just gonna give it some time and let the loading bar load. So like I said, here it's just letting you know that you are gonna need to connect to Wi-Fi. So let's select the Wi-Fi option up here and connect to a Wi-Fi network. Okay, hit join. Okay, once it's connected to Wi-Fi, it's gonna automatically detect it and start loading. And then now it says your Mac is activated, exit recovery. So once everything on that hard drive is erased, now we're gonna have to reinstall the OS. Okay, so we're gonna select this option here, reinstall Mac OS Sonoma, hit continue. And then here hit continue once again. All right, so here it's just giving us the terms and agreement here that we have to agree to, to install the OS. So once you're ready, hit agree and confirm by hitting agree once again. Here it's gonna ask you what drive you want to install the Mac OS Sonoma on. So we're gonna select uh, the Mac HD hard drive right here. So hit continue after you select it. Okay, and then here it's just letting us know that the computer is not connected to a power source and it is recommended to connect it to a power source, especially if you have low battery. Uh, so if you can, connect it to a power source and once you're ready, hit continue. Now this step is gonna take pretty long time because it has to download the entire Mac OS. Uh, and usually it's a pretty big file, so this will take a good amount of time depending on your internet speeds. All right, so after it finishes downloading the Mac OS, it's gonna automatically go into this screen with the loading bar. So let's give it some more time here. 
All right, and there we go. After a few seconds or maybe a few minutes of the loading, it's gonna take you to this screen right here, and this is the initial setup of your MacBook Pro. All right, so that means that the reset process was complete, and here we just have to go through all the settings here to get it set up. So that is how you completely factory reset, also known as a hard reset, your Apple MacBook Air M3. Go ahead and destroy that like button if this video helped you. Comment down below and let me know if it did. That's all for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, peace.